Ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, this is part two on my new channel, aka One Dollar Gods, spelled with the letter Z because of someone that I met a long time ago in the astral world. But moving past that, this segment is going to be about the introduction to my book that really exists on Amazon and was done professionally as an ebook and it has all the features of a regular ebook. You can zoom in, zoom out, chapters, uh, you can rotate the pictures, you can copy, you can do all the stuff that you can do in any other ebook. It was done professionally by a gentleman in India actually and it is a Kindle book and an ebook that you can purchase from Amazon.com. And I'm going to introduce you to the book so that you can see for yourself that it is real. However, the words in the book appear in the book as if I was speaking them, myself coming from Queens, New York, and talking like I come from Brooklyn. I can't do much about that. But this is the way the book is. It is, in fact, real. And here it is as an in the ebook form that you can see it has 28 different chapters oops need to be a little bit closer here there's 28 chapters that are located on the left hand side and this is collapsible to make the book bigger the picture on the screen is now what you see as the cover of the book, a.k.a. Angels on the Ark by Michael Fazio. And this is the two different pictures that I utilize to prove the existence of an entity or a deity or a remnant society that has existed on the face of the planet Earth for at least since the colony of Atlantis, but probably dating back 50,000 years. This is the title, Angels on the Ark, interpolated, which means I extrapolated the information that I thought the words in the Bible and the pictographs on the one dollar bills themselves actually meant by utilizing the time frames that the words and the pictographs were created and formed in, which in the case of the reverse of the one dollar bill, which is an exact replica of the Ark of the Covenant, which we will get into shortly, this is a representation of the Ark of the Covenant that the orange eyes that you see here and these green winged type figures are actually the six winged seraphim that exist on the reverse of the one dollar bill just as they exist on the Ark of the Covenant itself as the angels that appear on the left side of the Ark of the Covenant and the right side of the Ark of the Covenant as expressed in Exodus 25:19, and make one cherub on the one end and the other cherub on the other end of the mercy seat which is the central portion of the one dollar bill. Shall ye make the cherubims on the two ends thereof. This is one cherubim, this is a second cherubim. These are actually depictions in a pictographic form of the cherubim or seraphim that exist on the Ark of the Covenant because this entire green side, the entire reverse of the one dollar bill, ladies and gentlemen, is an exact replica of the Ark of the Covenant. There can be no doubt that these seraphim exist. And when you fold the bills in different configurations, you can see what appears to be a beast on this reverse of the one dollar bill which could be a bullock, it could be a lamb, it could be a lion it depends on how you arc 
just as in the word Ark of the Covenant, how you arc the bill and change the direction of the light that hits the bill itself. On either end, aka the God Pod, or in this case the evil seed of death, it appears to be a bullock. It is also the faces of the seraphim or the faces of the cherubim that face in different directions with eyes before and behind. And in this case it looks like a bullock. Ladies and gentlemen, there are 3,300 pictographs on the obverse and reverse of the one dollar bill. And I am going to describe them to you one at a time if necessary. This is the book that I wrote that I went back to school to learn how to use computers. I went back to school to learn how to possibly utilize a camera so that I could bring this to you on YouTube. I went back to school because I had a third and fourth grade reading or a writing ability and my reading comprehension was very high but I couldn't I didn't know what a, what a verb or a noun is. Not that it makes a difference, but I went back to school to learn how to use computers. And then I purchased a computer. And then I learned how to use the computer and make pictures so that I could write this book. It cost me a considerable amount of money and time. And then I promised that I would bring this to you and I am learning how to do so. So this is what you are going to see when you press the link on Amazon.com which I will show you at this point. This is the Amazon.com page that the book is on and you can get to that page by pressing the link under any of my videos. The book is in Kindle form and the book is in ebook form for nine dollars and ninety nine cents. It is one hundred percent refundable. So there is no worries. If you don't like it, send it back. People do it all the time. Not because they don't like it, but because that's how they scam Amazon. Now moving past that. This is the image that you will see on Amazon.com. As you can see, that's Amazon.com. Now, moving past that, we're going to go to the Jask Paint Shop images. And I just expressed to you a point of view that, in fact, there are angels on the Ark of the Covenant that look like the face of a bullock. And this, ladies and gentlemen, are the two faces of the cherubim with eyes before and behind. This eye would be before and this eye would be behind. This is a face that appears to be a man-like face, but it is not a man-like face. This is another face that faces in the opposite direction, just as depicted in the Bible, that the faces that appear to be man-like faces that are not man-like faces, that have eyes before and eyes behind. Ladies and gentlemen, these things exist, but when you zoom out a little bit, if you take notice, it starts to look like a bullock, a lion, or a lamb. Depending on the angle of refraction, or the angle of light, the way it hits the one dollar gods, or bills, utilizing something called Euclidean optics, this is the most complex pictographic structure of or pictograph on earth comprised of 3,300 pictographs located on the obverse and reverse of the one dollar bill including pictographs of what appeared to be on this side a nuclear detonation. Notice that when People refer to the light above the eagle's head as a sunburst. They refer to it as a glory. It is not a glory. It is a nuclear detonation. Inside are the particles 
that are expanding outwards like the structure of a bomb. On the left side, over the God pod, or in the God pod, was the glory of the Lord God. And the glory comes from the Lord God's eye, and the glory itself is being emanated from heaven. It is a portal from the earth to heaven and vice versa. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. What you are looking at 